I know a lot of people have been struggling with the new jump throw bind and the new update. So I want to show you how to 100% fix that and get your jump throw bind working again. So the first thing you need to go is you need to open two file explore tabs, open, open one and then click it again and open here and it'll open two. On the first one, go to Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike, CSGO, CFG, and feel free to pause if you ever need to. And then on the second one, go to Program Files, Steam, User Data, go to your friend code. If you don't know how to find your friend code on Steam, just go here, hit Friends, and then hit Add a Friend, and this is your friend code. And this is the account that you're on. And then if we go back over here, then as you can see, that's right there. And then you wanna go to 730, 730 is the ID for CSGO, Local, CFG. And you should have these two folders. And you, if you don't have an auto exec, just right click and hit new text document. And then here, I'll just do it as an example and then change this to .cfg. And if you don't see the .text, just type .cfg at the end. And then you want to name this auto exec .cfg. But I mean, I already have my, so I'm going to delete that. And then what you need to do is um, on the one that has a config, open your config. And then here you can see all my config. At the very bottom of your config, type auto exec, exec auto exec .cfg, just like this and all the commands will be in the description. And then when you're done with that, you need to copy this and paste it in here. So the configs here are the same. And then you need to open your auto exec and you need to write host underscore write config at the bottom. And you need to write it like this. So you need to write it with this, with these colons here. This will be in the description as well. You can't write it as three lines anymore. If you write it as three lines, the new update, it won't work because and now it's putting alias commands that are bound to a bind. It has to be on the same line now. So now that that's done, then you want to copy this and paste it in here. And now that you should have a config and an auto exec in here and a config and an auto exec in here. And if we open both of these, you'll see that they're exactly the same. Those should be the same. And if we open the configs, they would be the same. So you need to have your config in both of these and your auto exec in both of these. And then you need to, then you need to left click them right click them, my bad, and hit properties. And then you need to uncheck read only for all of them. So if we look at all of these properties, they're all unchecked on read only. And then we can go back to Steam here and you wanna go to library and then you wanna click on Counter-Strike, hit properties. And at the very end, you need to type plus exec space auto exec and don't put CFG at the end. And then you wanna close that. And then when you open Counter-Strike, your jump throw bind will be working bound to whatever key you have. If you followed mine, if, or if you copied mine that's in the description, mine has it bound to Z. So if you wanna change that, if you wanna change it to K, say, type it at K like that. Or if you wanna change it to say like end, an end key, you need to type it all caps like that, end. But I have mine bound to V, so I just type lowercase V and it's good to go. So I hope this helped you. If these didn't work, uh, please leave a comment and I will try to help you more. But anyway, thanks for watching.